You know, I sometimes wonder why doctors will, uh, you know, they'll prescribe melatonin or NyQuil to people that have problems falling asleep. That, that doesn't make any sense. There's a perfectly good alternative called Valorant. It's not only free, but it's 10 times stronger. You use it and you're asleep in like two minutes tops. Maybe it's not that I hate Valorant specifically, but just the genre of tactical shooters. Like, 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 who came up with that? Oh, we're, we're a tactical shooter. No, no, no. You know what a tactical shooter feels like? It feels like that game you play with babies. You know, the, the one where you put your hands in front of your face and, you know, you pull them apart like a uh, peekaboo and then they're just foaming at the mouth because it's, it's the funniest thing that they've ever seen. It's like peekaboo, but with guns. The hands are the walls you hide behind and the joke is you getting shot in the fucking face the minute you walk right past them. Maybe it's because growing up, the only shooters I've played is stuff like uh, Call of Duty, and I just don't have the IQ to fathom how good of a game Valorant actually is. But I feel like the majority of the time I'm playing a game, I'm just walking around or hide behind cover, and it just feels boring. Boring. You know, I can tell this game was made more for the competitive part of it than the fun factor, because if I could rate the amount of fun I've had on this game, it'd be between uh, World of Warcraft and Paint Drawing Simulator. Now, one thing I like about the game, right? See, I, I don't completely despise it, is that the characters, they're pretty cool. Uh, I mean, the, the character, the, the, the one character that I like is super cool. All the other ones can hop off a bridge for all I care, but his name is Phoenix, and he's possibly one of the most refined video game personality. You know, his, his accent, sarcasm, interaction with other characters, it's all perfect. I wouldn't be surprised if the next Valorant patch, right, takes every other character out of the game, and it's just a 5v5 of everyone playing Phoenix. Now, you've probably heard people say, oh, this game's just Overwatch. This game's just CSGO. Now, that, that's just people trying to simplify things, right? Valorant is, is much more than that, you know? What Valorant really feels like is... You know, like how in Call of Duty or, you know, in Battlefield, right? While everyone's just rushing out onto the battlegrounds to die with honor, you know, to die for their motherland as their ancestors proudly watch over them. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, you got those people... And then you got the cowards, the ones hiding and camping in a corner, right next to the rat hole that they slid out of, waiting in the same spot for minutes and hours as they shoot the pitiful players that happen to walk by. Riot took that dog shit aspect of shooting games and said, wow, we, we can make a game out of this. All we gotta do is put, uh, 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 objectives. uh objectives. Yeah, objectives. Yeah, we, we could do that, I guess. But the majority of the game will revolve around people getting shot the moment they walk past the corner. It's perfect. We're geniuses. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, long as it don't smile. Uh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, long as it don't smile. Uh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, long as it don't smile. Mama's call saying she don't. Where is he? Where is he? He's behind one of these corners. I already know he's, he's behind one of these corners. <laughs> oh, maybe I was wrong about that. Getting all pissed off. Bout to, bout to have the chalky outline.